So this question says the probability of an unfair – so anytime I see that word, I stop, right? So the, prob the word probability on this test usually means what do you want divided by what do you have, okay? What do you want to find the probability of divided by what do you have that you're choosing from? So that's, that's my mindset as I continue reading this. The probability of an unfair coin landing heads side up is 0 0.6. So what do I want? I want the unfair coin landing head side up. So I know that that value is 0 0.6, which is the same as like 6 out of 10. Um, a student tossed this coin into the air nine times. It landed, okay, nine times is going to be important, obviously. It landed tail side up five times. Okay, that means it landed head side up four times. So tails up was five and heads up must have been four because it was tossed nine times, right? Uh, what is a probability that the coin will land head side up on the 10th toss? Very interesting question. So the question already said that the probability of an, and let me just erase it so we can see it very clearly. This is a trick question. The question very clearly says the probability of an unfair coin landing head side up is 0 0.6. Guess what? That probability has nothing to do with what happened in the toss prior to the coin toss that you are considering. And it has no impact on the coin toss after. Each time you flip a coin, it's an independent event. So what is the probability that the coin will land head side up on the 10th toss? It's the exact same probability that it would land head side up on the first toss or the 100th toss or the 33rd toss. So that answer has to be choice C, which is 0 0.6.